Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Assassin's Creed 2. So I'm testing this 11 year old game since it's free at the time of making this video and I have some things to talk about about this game. Due to the age of this game, it runs on basically anything, so if you have a 750Ti or something faster, you can max it out. Then if you want to do 4K, you need at least a GTX 1050 if you want 60 frames per second. So yeah, if you have something faster than a 1050, you should be doing either 1440p or 4K, even if your display is 1080p, just force a higher resolution using DSR on the NVIDIA control panel or BSR on AMD settings. That forces a higher resolution, there's no jaggies, and everything looks very good. But this game has some issues. First of all, it's kept at 60 frames per second and you need to use a V-Sync on this one. My recommendation is to avoid the V-Sync solution inside of the game itself. Force the V-Sync using NVIDIA control panel or AMD settings. So yeah, my first recommendation is to do that. Enable V-Sync using your graphics drivers. The other one is about controller support. I have both an Xbox One and 360 controller and both of them have the same problem. The triggers don't work and the mappings are all wrong. There is a mod to fix that in the description, just, just follow the link, and the controllers should work just fine. There are also some graphical mods using different textures and all that, I didn't use that in this video, but if you are interested, there are links in the description as well. And one more thing that a lot of people told me that I didn't know, is that if you don't install Assassin's Creed 2 in the same hard drive or SSD as you play, the game won't work. So make sure to install the game in the same storage as you play. That shouldn't be an issue, the game is below 10 gigabytes. But just to let you know, in case you wanted to use another drive for some reason. And well, in the options menu, I don't have much to say, actually. Just max it out if you have something faster than a 750Di. We also have MSAA, which is multi-sampling in the options menu. We have 2x, times, 4x times, and 8x. Times. Even on a 1050Di, I was able to do 4x MSAA at 1440p. So it shouldn't be an issue, if you're doing 1080p, just put it on 8x, it's kind of a waste in my opinion. We have so much GPU power to spare that you might as well enable it. The game will look a lot cleaner and if you're forcing a higher resolution it will be even better. So yeah guys, that's about it, I hope you download this game if it's still available for free and have a lot of fun with it and thanks for watching the video, see you next time! So sorry, I must have forgotten my medication. Get the back. Get him! When you break the rules, we break you! Better have a look. That's showing them. <laughs> 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 
The rats will have a rare treat this night. Fresh is sure, carne that. Merda! Cazzo! 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 Down, Raju! Get him! There! Won't take long. Let's <laughs> go. 